it's 12 11 and uh i just went out there and stoked the fire up again got a bunch of wood on there i fixed this plastic because i wasn't happy with the way it was the way it was set up too much smoke was getting in but it's uh should be airtight now and uh, it's raining pretty hard but uh hopefully i'll stay dry because <laughs> uh, otherwise that would suck I'm definitely missing the down feather blanket. I mean, I'm okay with the uh, wool blanket and the synthetic, but if you add the down feather, then I'm toasty. Then I'm like ready to just stay wrapped up and sleeping. <laughs> Without the down feather, I gotta get up and stoke the fire. It's just not warm, as nearly as warm as it is with it. Raining pretty hard now. Getting a lot of heat off that fire right now. And I'm not gonna lie, I needed it. That was pretty cold. Not freezing or nothing, but, but uncomfortable. I never put my shoes back on though. I'm not like, my feet are actually pretty good. They're a little cold, but not, not to the point where I wanna put my shoes back on. It's too, uh, I can't sleep with my shoes on like that. Too uncomfortable. And that fire's raging now. <laughs> Got a lot of heat coming off of it. Yeah, that's pretty nice. <laughs> Take advantage of that. Yeah, I'm glad it finally started raining. I didn't think it was going to. At the moment, it's warm. I don't know how long it's going to last. How long the fire is going to last? W? I know how long it's going to stay warm until the fire goes out. <laughs> but I don't know how long that's going to be. Hopefully, it'll be a while. It's raining pretty hard now. Cool. Hopefully that rain fly tarp will keep the rain off of me. 1245. Just out here tightening up the super shelter. It's not leaking or anything. Man, it's hot. That fire is hot as hell. <laughs> but yeah, here's a view of the front. I'm underneath the tarp here. It's working pretty good. It's holding a little bit of water though. But, uh, I think it'll be all right. It's uh, 120. So 
fell asleep again for a few. But, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I woke back up because I was hot. <laughs> I'm literally sitting here in just my underwear right now. And, and I'm still hot. It's got to be 95 degrees in here. I went out there with just my underwear on. And was standing out there for five minutes just to cool down. Right, now I'm back in here again. And it's still just crazy hot. Yeah, the super shelter is a way to go for sure. Sitting here now with my back against this uh, SOL blanket, and I don't have no shirt on, and, and it's like hot on my back. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, it's nuts. It's just straight up hot as can be. It's like summertime in here. It's right around 7 a.m. Still raining. As I'm sure you can hear, I'm still in the, the super shelter, although uh, the fire's out now. I'm just bundled up. It's been out for a while. There's, there's still some coals, I think. But uh, I don't know heat coming off of it anymore. It's not too bad in here, though. It's, it's 30. 36 or 37 out there, but in here it's probably 45, 50 even, I don't know, it's not too bad. I can't even see my breath in the air in here, so it's pretty warm. It's raining hard. I'm gonna, uh, It's raining pretty hard. I'm gonna start packing up and head on out of here when the sun comes up. So I'll uh, see you guys again next time. I'm not gonna do any filming. It's raining way too hard for that. <laughs> but I'll see you guys again next time. Thanks for joining me. So it's 7.45, still raining, <laughs> as I'm sure you can hear. But uh, the shelter was a success. I was totally dry all night. I was warm. I was unbearably hot when the fire was raging. I mean, it was, <laughs> it was, there was one point where I was just in my underwear, no shirt, nothing else but underwear, and I was sweating. And that's no exaggeration. I was truly sweating. <laughs> it was crazy. I had such a hot coal bed there that the last, uh, three hours I didn't do anything with the fire at all I just I just slept I woke up the fire was out it was a little chilly in there but I had enough uh, excuse me I had uh, my wool blanket and my fleece blanket and I had that uh, the stuff I was telling you about I already put it away but the, the packaging styrofoam it's just real thin sheets of styrofoam but I used that I just put some of that in between the blankets and it actually kept me very warm yeah it was a pretty good night though the fire was tough the fire kept the, the wind kept changing direction and uh, smoke was a big problem but you know I had the super shelter so that kept me um, kept the smoke out of my face but without this super shelter, I wouldn't have been able to stay in here. I would have had to change it, change this thing up. See the water dripping down. Steady rain since around midnight. Alright, well, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you guys again next time.
Yeah, I just wanted to show you. I, I had a piece of that wrapped around me that I didn't even realize. Um, but yeah, this is the this is the styrofoam or whatever foam rubber. It's super lightweight. And uh, very warm, and it's see, it's very flexible. It will rip though. But this stuff, if you wrap up in this stuff, it'll keep you warm. Yeah, so I'm getting ready to head on out of here now. Um, but thanks for joining me, and uh, yeah, I'll show you a better view of that out here. Yeah, again, though, uh, <laughs> thanks for uh, watching, and uh, see you guys again next time. I'm gonna, that's my trash bag there. I'm going to take that out of here with me. So I managed to sneak up on the geese. They don't know I'm here. It's cool. There's a bunch of them moving. I'm not going to disturb them either because... Uh, it's a nasty morning. They don't want to be out flying in this stuff. They can't see me. I'm under the umbrella. I don't think they see me either. Because I'm under a pretty big umbrella. Alright, well, I'll see you guys next time.